Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome to Elite Dangerous Odyssey. I thought I'd have a quick go through the training program that we were given in regards to the suit operative tutorial. That's now part of Elite Dangerous Odyssey. I mean, look at all these tutorials we now have, right? Remember when the game was new, good old Elite Dangerous, and there was nothing. You had a ship and that was it. Well, things have moved on since then and now we've got loads of tutorials to help the new commander or commanders who want a little bit of a refresh to get involved. So here we go, we got a little bit of a set piece set several years ago. Briscoe's Legacy. Bit of a fade to black. Cobra Mark IV doing a runner. This is it, soldier. Your last assignment before moving on to bigger and better things. I'm guessing your head is up in the stars already, but you've got to stay focused for me. Your short job from the enemy settlement had to drop you far enough to avoid their defense systems. The terrain should keep your approach hidden, so you'll have the advantage. Don't be too busy tracking me anyway. Here we go. Several years ago in this system, on that planet, at this settlement. Okay, we're gonna get a fade to black, and it sort of takes us back to us being a soldier, as a commander, and the last mission um, of our enlistment. And we get a little bit of a tidbit from someone in our ear. Okay, there we go. So there's the settlement. Our guy has flown off into the sunset. And straight away you can see all the detail we've got on the ground. I mean, look at that. That is well textured groundwork. We've got a crashed ship over here. So you're constantly getting twittered at, you know, in your ear. So we've got a crash ship, which we're having a good look around. You have all of this, even though you're prompted and you've got your pilot, you know, twittering in your ear, look at the reflections on this crash ship, right? You've got a, all the texturing you've got on the hull plating. Anyway, let's get over to this settlement. So, but a short run. We've got um, the Maverick suit. There's the settlement. You can see the landing lights are on. Look at that view. Right, so we've been told we've got to go and take the power regulator out of an SRV to get the settlement online. Okay, um, good stuff. Look at all this fog everywhere, which is great. Um, right, moving on. We've been ma there's our marker. Now with this suit, we obviously get to charge doors and break in. Get the torch on. Entering pressurized environment. Looks like nobody managed to get in. Perfect. There should be an SRV parked in here. It's a 
Now we've got a cutter on this suit. And let's hit the mag lock. There we go. We have a winner. Take the regulator. You've got a better use for it. There's the regulator, and we can take it. That's what we want. Put that into the the power. Let's take these components as well. On the back, there's also two panels. You can cut those open. You can also take these components and from that panel as well. But for the purpose of this, we'll just get on with things. There's an exploding barrel there. We could shoot that and make a right mess. So moving on, you're also going to find lots of items to pick up. These would be good if you were playing the main game. Ammo box over here as well. For engineering your suit, upgrading your weapons or just selling, you know. But yeah, there's an old damaged SRV. Good stuff. Let's get out uh, and get on with things. Okay. Now, from this point... Yeah, we've got to get the power back on. Now, the settlement's already been attacked. There's all fallen bodies here. You can scan these. No bounty detected. No bounty. Doesn't say there is. But if you swap to the alternative mode, you can clone their profile. So immediately you'll get level one access. Well, that's not going to be enough to get us in there. Okay, and there's a few other ways on this mission that you can do. You can get yourself over to the habitat as well, um, which is all the way over there. Before we get to that, have a look around for the body. See if there's anybody around you. Here's somebody. Level zero. No good for us. Here's the hab, the hab area. Sorry to interrupt your stroll, but we do have a mission to complete. Right, let's get in here, what we got. So you can cut this panel open as well. What are you going to do? Take a nap. Energy transfer complete. And here we are inside the habitat. Again, there's going to be lots of things you can pick up. Grenades and that sort of stuff. But if you go in to the shower area, look, someone's asleep. And if you do need level one access, you can scan this guy as well. No bounty detected. So, still, a, still awake, but asleep in the shower. Interesting stuff. So have a good look around. So there's lots of stuff to pick up as well, which may or may not be frowned upon. And this is only a training program, so you're not going to get to take these into the main game. But, you know, it's good to have a good look around and, and see all the work that Frontier has put into this. Again, you can cut these open. Right, let's go. Leaving pressurised environment. Someone floating just a little bit off the ground, or the hour on the ground. Again, more pilots. All level zero. Level zero. This is a bandit. Now, if you scan him. Bounty detected. You get that, you get hold of that bounty. Now, a couple of places here. This is a panel, cut it open. The idea is you can vent the atmosphere to the building from the outside or control the atmosphere from the outside. You'll have to break into the 
Sometimes it saves from having a firefight, especially if you're in your maverick suit. Let's cut that open. Charge the port with our energy link. And then open it up. Let's go straight in. We want to go to good power regulator. Insert that, transfer that to the hopper. And now we get to scan workers. And one of these workers in here will have level three access. Here we are, scan him. Phoebe Charles. But I found it's been a different person every time. No bounty detected. Security profile right. This profile cloned, we can now access the console. Yeah, in goes the power regulator. Power online, everybody. How cool is that? That's not bad at all, is it? Power on. We can recharge the suit here. Gives us more power without having to go to any of the suit other items we've got. And now we've got to get ourselves up to the command center. Sparks going off and stuff coming online. We've got Atmosphere controls you, you can vent the atmosphere. All these different panels. Can't do anything up here, mind. Now here's something to consider as well. If we're in the main game, cutting open these cupboards. And then you can take anything that's in there. Some cupboards don't need to be cut open. Right, let's go. We've got our power on. We've scanned everybody. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Now, command center. There it is. Right, check it out. Again, you'd scan any soldiers or combat combatants. Taking the atmosphere out puts the fire out, right? Again, more items around here to pick up. Put the atmosphere back on so we can breathe. And now we get a bit of combat. And there's container boxes littered around, lots of stuff you could possibly take. I mean, if you're out doing salvage missions in the main game, then you would be laughing here, absolutely laughing. We've got access to get through doors. There's ammo box in there as well. In here, what's good is we can start downloading data. Not the data we need, but all this data can be sold at stations. Downloading data. And while we're doing that, we can start cutting open cupboards, seeing what's in there, getting some of all that, all those materials, loads of materials here. In the top, we can see we have 14% of data transfer gives a bit of time to look around and take in all the ambience that Frontier have put in to this starting mission okay with our data downloaded time to get on with what we were doing so back out we've got to get upstairs and get the data that we really want 
having a good look around we've got first aid kits here panel on the wall another dead fella we could scan him if we had the inclination and here's a terminal so now the power's on we haven't got to worry about charging up terminals we can interact with it to the facility command center and then we've got to search through now now what i found in this tutorial it doesn't flag a little icon next to the thing that you need to find out which is the computer data console right you're only allowed to go on to the next part when you select this in the alpha there was a little icon saying mission objective exit out of here and out of that okay again we can get some more items should be one who got a grenade case and a dead body we're full of grenades okay let's just charge up our suit got all these control panels over here we've got point defense which we can enable or disable and anti-ship turrets now if you were doing a heist mission i typically disable all of these um point defense turrets disable anti-ship turrets disable which is cool down here we've got anti-personnel turrets right now disabled we could enable those leave them disabled um another cupboard and this is exactly what we want it's all barry travis right so he died over the console right so we can download the data which is the mission objective here here we go let's look out a window here's a ship coming just jumped in just part my past my reticule Yeah, we see him. We're at 90, 100%. We've got the data. All right, so here are the bad guys. Come to do us a bit of damage. And they're Diamondback Scout. They're dropping out. Let's go and engage. There we are. Throw some grenades out. So shields are down there, look. They're throwing grenades at me now. Gotta keep an eye on the ammo. I mean, typically you would shoot... Um, with your laser rifle or laser pistol to take the shields down and then switch to ammo. They're very good at throwing grenades, I'll tell you that. Oh, he's, he says I'm going to die here. Is that right? Ah, oh, there's more. Did I get him? No, he's still there. Got him. God, I got hit by a grenade again. Oof. Oh, dear. Get ourselves in there. 
there's first aid right there. So far we're doing alright for ammo. Attempting to flank. Normally they would have come in through the other door. Something I tend to. I tend to miss quite a bit. Let's get some more ammo. Here we go. There was ammo in here. Right, we're full of ammo. We've got lots of power. Vital signs stabilized. Let's get that last first aid kit. Okay, here we go. Let's go back out, re-engage. Yeah, have that. There he is. Looking the other way. Take him out. One. Where is he? There he is. Hiding around the corner. Done. Now normally you would scan all these and get the bounties. We're quite happy now to wait for our evac. Our guy's going to come out in his cobra and land on the pad. Here he is, just in time. No one else coming out. I suppose really what we could have done is gone and got the regulator back but into the drop ship oh yes around the front mission accomplished not difficult but it certainly gets you to play the game now what's going to happen here is as we fly away, our pilot's going to give us little tidbits and information to get started. All these things that the new player is going to appreciate. Well, there you go. That's the training mission uh, and my thoughts about that. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching and check back for more videos in the series.